there's nothing like a huge block party. And when you add Harry Potter fans counting down the minutes until they can get their hands on their copy of Deathly Hollows into the mix, there is only one place you can celebrate. It's Harry Potter's place. Tell me what characters are you playing? Uh, I'm Hermione Granger. Hi Hermione, it's pleasure Hi. to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. And you? I'm Cho Chang. Okay, pleasure Cho. So how was it in this movie? It, in the new movie that just came yes, out? Yes, yes. It was great. The roles you were playing. Oh, the roles we were playing. Actually, yeah. mine, I, I, actually I had less words than I did in some of the other movies. So it was a little disappointing, but I had a good time. And you, the kiss with Harry Potter? Apparently my girl turned shady, mm -hmm. but I didn't, I've actually seen the movie. I don't, I read the books. I'm about the books. That's much the movies, but I've heard that she she's turns a shady. She's which a I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate that. Well, you know, that. show you better. You should That's not in up. the book. That's not in the book. So for the book, yeah. Deathly Hollows, do you have any theories as far as how it's going to all conclude? I feel fairly certain that Harry is not going to die. He will live to save the world another day. And maybe he and Joe will get back together. Um, I, I alternate between thinking Harry and Voldemort will both die and thinking Harry will live but will, will be forever changed and in some way diminished. Ooh. So I know, it's, it's darker, diminished. it's darker. Oh, I like it. Well, but I, Hermione, will then take over. Ah. What has it been like waiting and waiting and waiting and for this day to finally be here? It's very tense, really, because the, I read all the books from up to sixth one and the sixth one was very surprising, so I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the seventh book. For those who are out there who are maybe not familiar with Harry Potter, where exactly did the sixth book leave off? The sixth book left off when Snape, Harry's potions teacher, killed Dumbledore, and there was this big fight, and so that's where it pretty much left off. So tell me about this place right now. We're at Harry Potter Place. It's really cool. Yeah. Tell us about some of the things that are going on here. Well, I really like how this all got it set up. Like, it must be really expensive, but it all was finished, and it's really cool. I'm here waiting in line for Deathly Hollows. Tell me your name and where you're from. Leah Wickman from Santa Rosa, California. And Chelsea Logan from Santa Rosa, California. Now, what is going to happen in this book? You got to tell me. Oh my god, people are going to die. It's going to be funny and sad and happy and horrible all at the same time. It's going to be crazy. Anything could happen at this point. Anything. I think. Anything. Anything. It's going to be amazing and I can't wait to go sit down and read it all at once. All at once. Yeah. Now, for people who didn't actually get to come to Harry Potter Place, I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> Tell us about being around fellow Harry Potter fans. It's been great. Like, really, we, the people who are behind us, I mean, we just met them today and we've already learned a bunch about them. And being around, like, in this kind of environment, it's the best place to be to get a Harry Potter book. Yes.
ecstatic right now. So you gotta tell me your name, where you're from. We gotta start from the beginning. I'm Eric Jenkins from Beacon, New York. And what does Harry Potter mean to you? Harry Potter is life to me. It's the air I breathe, the food I eat, the sounds I hear, the people I meet. And what was it like meeting a whole bunch of Harry Potter fans tonight at Harry Potter Place? It was amazing. What does this day mean to you? Um, I've been waiting for this day for like two years, ever since my friend Eric over there, she got into Harry Potter because I read it before her. And we've been waiting and counting down and it's pretty, this day is pretty much everything. This year, it's pretty much the day of the year. So how does it feel to be Harry Potter celebrity? Oh Amazing. God. This is the best day this of my best life. Day of our life. It's like the culmination of 10 years of devotion to one series. It feels amazing, and words cannot describe. Words, honestly, I, I'm just like, um, yay! <laughs> like I can't even. I like was looking at just the chapter titles and getting excited. I mean, that's how like incredible this is. That's all you looked at. You didn't take a peek of the first. The first sentence. We read the first sentence, and I hear a little bit of the first sentence. It was like, like do you remember it? It was like two men appeared in a dark moonlit lane or something like that. Don't quote it. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> Loosely quoted. <laughs> Loosely quoted. Get the book. You can figure out the first line yourself. Tell me about your message that you put on the muggle board. Uh, well, I wrote uh, to the muggles, you are shrouded in mystery. The reason I wrote that is because all the books um, have said something about uh, not showing the muggles about the magical world and how they interact with other people. And I think the reason I wrote that was from the second book when uh, they f when Ron and Harry fly the car on well, when 11 muggles see them. And I feel that they, uh, the muggles didn't forget that, that they want to try to find out what's going on. But I feel they're never going to find out. Do you think it's best that they, they, they remain shrouded in mystery? Yeah, I think, it, I think it's a good thing. What was your message? Um, it's right here. It actually says Voldemort will prevail. And uh, it oh. pretty much he will. Oh, Voldemort. I think you might be the only person in Harry Potter place rooting for Voldemort. Well, think about it. Now that Dumbledore is dead, Voldemort pretty much is the most powerful wizard there, so he's got a better chance. But of course, J.K. Rowling will be leaning towards the whole Harry Potter. What was your message on the Muggle board? My message was uh, long live Harry Potter. No, wait a second. You guys are on two different sides here. Two different levels. Two different levels. We're completely, one's rooting for the dark side, one's rooting for the good side. I'm, pers I'm personally, I'm just rooting for the side that I know is going to lose just because I have no root for the underdogs. Uh, I'm hoping though in the book that uh, Vaughn, Vaughn and Hermione get married and uh, yeah, and um, or like not get married but like definitely start going out or something. Like. They need to hook it up, right? Yeah. 